Hi, I'm Chase. I've uh, been at sea for a few days now, and I uh, want to go and have a look how they do the fish processing on the boat. So uh, we'll head on down and have a look. Chase has helped catch the 15 tonne of fish that has just dropped into the pound. It is then sorted and sent to the barter machine. The machine turns whole hokey into fillets which are weighed, packed and then frozen. This whole process is watched over by factory manager Carlene King. Hokey is the target species we aim to catch out here. It is classed as a worldwide sustainable fish. You'd know what a hokey tastes like if you've eaten a fillet of fish at McDonald's. Good. Okay. There's a lot of different jobs you can do out there, sure so anyone that's keen um, can really do well out there. You need your knife. It's a real individual hole. motivation factor out there. It's all about teamwork, but it's up to the individual to be able to perform really well. The weigh station is where you sort the fillets into trays. Each tray must have similar sized fillets and the trays must weigh seven and a half kilograms so that they can be packed later. It's one of the first jobs you do on the processing line. They're normally placed with someone experienced in the factory and they're trained up either by them or myself. Any area in the factory it works like that so that they've got someone there the whole time teaching them as they go, yeah, hands on learning. Chase is soon onto the barter machine, which he helped put together. It's another story, though, trying to sort the fish fast enough. It's really important that they look after the machine. Very expensive piece of equipment, and it's very vital downstairs for us, too, that it is operated correctly. But he uh, has to maintain a very high speed as well, trying to fill every paddle. Um, time is against us out here, so it's really important we get it through the factory as fast as possible. To get that freshness through, speed is definitely your aim. It might take Chase a while to get the hang of it, like Mahi. But soon enough, it's Smoko in the factory lockers. And when the team go back to the factory, Chase takes a chance to extend his break and talk to Kayla. It's good money and everyone you get along with and they like your family. And... So uh, how did they treat you when you first came on the boat? Was there like a good fun sort of atmosphere? Yeah, well, there were a few dickies that thought, oh, asked me if they could crack three eggs on my head and they'd pay me like a hundred each. <laughs> so they did it, but instead of cracking three eggs, they cracked two eggs. Yeah. So they didn't have to pay me. <laughs> just stuff like that, they just joke around. Oh, yeah. But those fish won't process themselves, so Chase goes back onto the line to try his hand at packing with Damo. Pull the blue plastic down. Yep. Go away sight. Sit on that. Could be fill it. Make sure it has right up against the side of the box. On the packing line with our fillets, they're packed into shatter packs and they are packed in blue plastic, which stops the fish from getting freezer burn and the keep the fish separated so that you can take out a fillet individually rather than if it was grouped together it would all stick together and keep one clunk coming out. Quality control is really important and each box can be linked back to the ship it was packed on and the person who packed it. So the next person that's going to see that fish once that lid is closed is going to be our customer Freezing which could be anywhere in the world in America or overseas somewhere. The boxes are packed into a plate freezer Good job, Chase. Just a couple of tons left to go. And after three hours, Dave is ready to pack them in the hold. It's very, very important that um, we do a temperature check on every freezer. All product must be at least minus 18 degrees before it goes into the hold for storage. We do try and get people to change around in the factory so that they learn more. The more experience you have, the more valuable you are. So, And it's good for variety out there. Chase operates the breakout machine while Dave prepares the boxes for storage in the hold. One catch of fish might be processed, but there is still more work to do. 
After every 72 hours, we need to do a full factory pre-op scrub down, so that's water blasts and scrubbing with chemicals throughout the factory in every area. Every person's allocated area to scrub down, and that's checked over by the foreman at the end of the clean down. Carlene takes swabs to ensure that the factory is free of bacteria. Standards have to be kept very high. Factory workers and deckhands work a six hour on, six hour off shift. The operation runs 24 seven, so everyone is doing a night shift. And deckhands work in the factory as soon as the trawl has been set for the next catch, which is where Chase finds Cam, who is the ship expert in filleting. Cam takes Chase to the galley to teach him how to fillet a white warrahau. It is called bycatch because it is not the species that the enterprise is targeting, but it will still be processed and sold. Everything they catch is processed and nothing is wasted. So here's your fish. Yep. And here we go. So how long have you been at sea with this boat? Uh, I've been doing it probably 15 years. Yeah, it's great fun, it's a great lifestyle. Plenty of time off and plenty of money to do what you want to do. Yeah. So um, what do you do when you're not working? Um, photography's a great hobby. Yeah. So I get to see quite a few things out here that no one else gets to see. Beautiful sunsets, albatrosses. Cam won a national photography competition for these photos. Oh, that's bloody good. Yeah, nah, it's brilliant. Okay, well, where's your dinner for tonight? It's just not a bad job, first time. Okay. It's going to taste beautiful, so if you want to put them on here, we'll chuck them in the fridge and you can let Baz know they're ready to rock for tonight. Chase's stay is over, so what did Carling think of him? He's got a good attitude, which is one of the most vital things out here you need. Working in a close environment with everybody, he seems keen, and they're probably my two key things I look in somebody. So if he decides to make a career of it, I think he'll do well. The part about the food processing that I enjoyed the best was the filleting. Just because it's more of a hands-on sort of thing, you get to touch the fish and actually do the cutting and the processing yourself. As the Enterprise steams into Littleton Harbour to let Chase off, he has a final moment to reflect on his experience. I thought the trip overall was quite a good experience. It got to uh, give me a look at all of the different types of jobs that are available on these sorts of deep sea trawlers, and all up it was just a good experience, yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely like to come back. There is a national certificate in seafood vessel operations at sea processing level two. Useful experience for at-sea seafood processors includes onshore factory work or any work with knives. Boating experience is also helpful. At-sea seafood processors start on around $45,000 a year. Experienced workers can earn as much as $75,000 a year and part of this income is based on the amount of fish processed. At-sea seafood processors can move on to become supervisors, deckhands or more senior positions on the fishing boat. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.